Hey guys, what's going on? Today's topic is okay. Cancel culture. Yeah, it's okay. So today's topic is about the online in creator and entertainer scene. Now, it's interesting because you would think the the entertainment field, online and offline exactly the same but you're wrong because it's the, the internet is a wonderful thing it really is but sometimes it's used as a weapon and just think about it like normally without the without the use of the internet you can have like what 10 20 people max in like a that area talking about the same thing called zoom uh-huh no that's with the internet oh no but uh you they wouldn't people wouldn't have like people would have the same opinion but they'd be spread out throughout the country and they really wouldn't be able to talk to each other about it and so like let's say you make you made a movie and without the use of the internet 20 people Okay, twenty thousand people hated it. You would have never, you would never know that, really. You'd probably get like what, a uh, hundred official reviews, or no, more than a hundred official reviews, and like twenty fan team magazine reviews, and then whatever news, whatever like design people make instead of a blog. Mm -hmm. But with the internet, it's. It's not like that. Now all 20,000 of those people can say exactly what they want to say about the movie without any legal repercussions because of the freedom of speech. However... It's a little loud right here. Yeah, it's a little loud right here. Yeah. Let's wait until we pass this Mr. Garden guy. We're going to wait until we pass the DACA's. All right. Okay, so the thing is, freedom of speech does not mean exemption from the law. Like, of what you, your words affect you. Your words aren't just words. They mean something, obviously. And because, and because of that, if someone was to, to try to review you who, without any actual review content, then that's no longer that's no longer the fair use, which is the review. That's slander, or could be interpreted as, as slander, even though you could say it's satire or whatever. It's up to the law's hands. Now, if they want to pursue you in court, they could, but most often they will send cease and desist letters. Those cease and desist letters can be written by anyone, anytime, over anything. They, you don't even need an official copyright or anything on any, to send one. You can send as many cease and desist letters as you want. The, the person who sees them, however, can choose to ignore or obey them and and I've and, and in my research there's a lot of like hey like, um you can even specify he instructions to in, like nullify your cease and desist to comply with the cease and desist thing and do you know that no, I absolutely did not know that. Like, I'm absolutely to, ignorant the, when it comes to the law. According to the the law, you can actually be, make them comply for up to one thousand dollars legally without going to court. Hmm. And it's up to them if they want to give it to you. I mean, it's it's not like it's not threatening them. It's th own, it's threatening them with the intent with suing them. But because we're the United States government, threatening them with money isn't illegal. 
Hmm. Right? Guess but, not. But threatening them with their fists is legal. Hmm. I think it's kind of interesting. Interesting. Because you can you can threaten them for their way of life, but you can't threaten them for their life. Ironic. Ironic. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so. Oh shoot! Rainforest. Rainforest. Uh -huh. Anyways, so now that we understand the cease and desist letters mm -hmm. and the internet, the next thing is cancel culture. Mm -hmm. So, say the thing is, since you have your freedom of speech and you have your social media with thousands of or millions of followers. Millions of followers, man. I tried to get my. There's so many damn people want to be a star overnight on that social media. It's crazy. It's not an overnight thing. Man. Even me, the yeah. old man. Huh? It's not an overnight thing. We we'll, we just have to find our niche. I know. Well, you don't even you have to have a niche. You just have to be a girl. Don't don't even don't don't quote me on that though. Oh, well, right, because girls normally have right away. They can get something. Yeah. You know? Oh well. I, oh, I, I you know it is what it is. Uh -huh. you know? I know what it is, but... But even guys, too. There's some guys that right away, you know, they'll, you know, they'll switch to them. But, you know, yes, it, it's a thing, you know, you might think that it is something that they have is special. But in reality, it's no special than what you and me have. It's just what people want to tune into. If people are bored with what we say, then they're not going to look into it. Uh -huh. um, we're not entertaining, but you have to be informative entertaining and engaging to have a successful YouTube. Um, what we are, we're just entertaining. Um, are we informative? Probably. probably um, things that you probably didn't know, but you have to wait. Because the, um, what is that called? The little clip, what is the thing called? The clickbait? Clickbait never really demonstrates what we're going to talk about. And um, are we inter engaging? Not really. I mean, you can comment. We've had comments before on our YouTube. Do we care? No, not really. Do we yeah. comment back? Yeah, I do. Do we really take your stuff? Yeah, I mean, do we take your stuff in consideration? No, not really. You know, because it's, it like it it's, yeah, like it it it's a free base. Uh -huh. And, you know, we like to sound off at YouTube. And will you, YouTube eventually turn off our account? Yeah, probably. Uh -huh. Do we care? No, not really. Uh -huh. Do I save all my YouTubes? No, not really. Uh -huh. But it is what it Anyways. is. Anyway, go ahead, little man. Uh -huh. So, basically, people don't understand that you can literally have the following of that's equal to the size of armies. Like, oh heck. It, that pe people don't really think about perspective anymore. Because it's like... According to the internet, a thousand followers is nothing. You know, like. Oh really? yeah, jeez, that's nothing. <laughs> I mean, I look at people got like one point two million. No, I know, but like one point two, one point something. Yeah, I know. M. Yeah, that's great, no, but people. But I look at their stuff, and there's know. there's nothing there. Exactly. There's no substance. But the thing is, people need to see perspective because. But that's the worldwide, man. Mm -hmm. How do they? How do they get that? No, because I know. Anyways, but when you see in perspective, you see like. We're just 1,000 followers. You know what I want to do? I want to put a people. turban on my head and see how many people I get, can get. Oh my I want to be like the minority mindset. Dave, oh do you know that we are going to have a recession? Do you know what causes a recession? Oh my gosh. Do you know what causes rats in your house? Oh, that's what I do, you know? I'll tell you what. No, but uh, anyways, yeah. Having a dirty house. Perspective, it's 1,000 people. Like, 1,000 people you know. Most of the people you probably don't even know. I'm sure you probably interact with. Hey, look at a resort. B&B. Uh -huh. yeah, no, three three umbrellas, probably a B&B. Yeah, probably. No, but uh, anyways, back to my topic. So, you have followers in the in the high numbers, in the high army. And all you have to do is rally your troops, and they'll do your bidding. Like, I'm not trying to say that people are mindless, but something, sometimes they have that horde mindset. And that's all right, you know, when you for something good. But, but what's good on the YouTube? No, I'm not talking about YouTube. Oh. I'm talking about the whole, the whole internet. Okay. It's more than just YouTube, man. No, because like people, 
You know what they can do with those armies, Dad? I know what they can do with them. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what they can do with them. Okay. But anyway. No, but uh, they can. They can do what's called brigading, or wish hunting, hmm. and single out a specific user and cancel them. Hmm. And by canceling them, they expose to the whole world private information about about situations huh. or things that that person has done. Huh. Sometimes it's for the best. Sometimes it's a it's. Some of it's lies or just accusations. Okay. But the thing is, is that once they're worked up, they're so mad they don't even care. Huh. Get it? I kind of get it, yeah. And it's just like starting a rebellion, Dad. Oh, like they're doing now with the BML, Black yeah, Lives yeah. Matter? And all you have to do is get a mic, mic megaphone, stand on a podium, Announce how you're be how you're a good person, mm -hmm. and then tell them who's a horrible person. Wow! Then they'll go oh, and do what they do. You know, hmm. it's an uh, angry mob. Wow! That's what's happening now? Yeah, exactly. No, but uh, direct it in any way you want. Basically, some stuff is good. Like sometimes it's a double-edged sword because, like, sometimes this mob movement. Mm -hmm. Can help with copyright cases. Mm -hmm. Can help with per interpersonal drama mm -hmm. or other things like that. Like um, one time, a video game was made being made mm -hmm. that resembled another thing, like entirely. And in only one week, Dad, mm -hmm. the whole thing was canceled. Not because of the company, the, the video game company. The video game company never learned of the bootleg game. It was the fans. Oh wow! And but sometimes they do stupid stuff, like in, right now, uh, Will Smith's daughter yeah has been in doing a really bad thing where she leaks the private information of of kids. Yeah. Literal kids who say like the N word once, one time. Oh wow. And it's like, sure, I know it's bad, but it's not bad, that bad because they have this. It's so dumb because like, there's even those cases where she did this, and then like the administrator of the college trying to go to be like, oh thank you, now they're not going to go to college. And I'm like, why? 